fiery Fred Truman, a Yorkshireman, a fiery Yorkshireman. He had the greatest fast bowler's action there's ever been in the history of Test cricket, in my view. Fastest bowler, could swing anything at any time against any batsman, wide of the crease, close to the stumps. At any given moment, he could bowl a 95 mile an hour Yorker if he wanted to, but he didn't always choose to do so. You only have to see the footage to realise how skilled he was, what a great athlete he was. He didn't have any time for gym sessions and the modern way of fitness preparation. He simply bowled thousands and thousands of overs. He was the first bowler to take over 300 test wickets. He finished with 307 test wickets. And he formed a, a superb partnership with Brian Statham, who provided the pinpoint accuracy at one end while Fred tore in shirt sleeves flapping at the other end. Wonderful bowler. His late outswingers were absolutely glorious. And then, of course, towards the end of his career, he cut his run down and bowled those leg cutters. And when you're coming up through the Yorkshire ranks, you bump into the likes of Brian Close, Geoffrey Boycott, Fred Truman, Ray Illingworth. And you always felt they had time for you, but in particular Fred Truman, he'd always come in the dressing room with that big pipe. He'd have a pint of bitter, sit in the corner and just want to tell you stories of how fast he was. In the Leeds test of 1961 against the Australians, he took 11 in the match. It was always known as Truman's match. So in the second innings, in one spell, he took five when uh, he switched to bowling off cutters to a bit of a leg trap. Uh, and the right-handed batsman just couldn't cope. The ball gripped in the surface and kind of spat at the batsman, taking pieces out of the surface. And all these fielders were in the leg trap here, and, and England won, won the test. Great on the commentary, Mike, as well. I worked with him on Test Match Special for a number of years, and his uh, comments about the game were always pithy, and he played the game in a very pithy way. I was never short of a word for batsmen. That was all part of his mystique, part of his aura that he used to bully batsmen out, as well as using great skill of swing and pace. Amazingly, for one period, left out of the England team by the selectors because he was a, a hair-raising character, or maybe we should say a hell-raising character, a bit of both. In English conditions particularly, Truman was almost unplayable. Jaw-dropping, a magnificent bowler. Truman was really special. <laughs>